it's Brooke back with another video and I'm excited because today I'm going to show you guys how I do a everyday makeup look for work in the military in uniform. Now yes there are regulations you have to abide by when you are wearing makeup in uniform um, because you don't want it to be too... You don't want it to be too like standout-ish. You don't want to like wear this bright makeup. Like it just doesn't look good um, when you're in uniform. So I'm gonna be showing you like a natural makeup look that you could wear in uniform. Now for me, I don't wear makeup um, really ever because I wear on the flight line. I get dirty. I get sweaty. Like it's just there's just no point for me to wear makeup. But I have before, and I'm in honor guard now for like six months, so I can wear makeup. So this is what I will show you. This is what I would wear if I were when I do wear makeup in uniform. Um, now, I usually don't wear eyeshadow, but I'm going to show you guys an eyeshadow look that you can wear. And it just has to look very natural to your skin tone. Um, no bright lipsticks or eyeshadows, no wing eyeliner, things like that. You can wear like a little bit of eyeliner. You can wear um, like natural looking fake lashes. Uh, it just depends on your job as well, you know. So, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know down below and let's get started. Okay, so I already washed my face and put moisturizer on. Uh, if I look over to my right downwards, it's because I'm looking at my mirror. And if I look up at all, it's because I'm looking into my viewfinder to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair up. I have, I have all my makeup beside me, so if you hear anything, that's what it is. Now, let's get started. So, I will start off with moisturizing my face, like I said, and then I will use the Pore Professional Face Primer. I'm actually almost out of this, and I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I went to go repurchase it, and guys, I didn't realize how freaking expensive this shit is. Excuse my language. So yeah, I need to buy more, but it's a big splurge. Don't forget your neck. Never forget your neck. Also guys, just a little disclaimer, I am no professional makeup artist. I uh, was never properly taught how to do makeup. I just kind of went with it from seeing my mom do it. Uh, my sister, my younger sister who is 16 knows more about makeup and how to do makeup than I do. Um, I don't do makeup every day, so... Bear with me, I am not a professional. This is just how I do my makeup. Um, so please don't come at me. I don't think I use the brushes correctly, but it works for me, so whatever works for y'all. Okay, so after I put the primer on, I'm gonna go ahead, and I don't use foundation because, unless I'm going out like somewhere fancy or on a date or something, because it's just too thick for me, so I would never really wear it in uniform. I'm just gonna go in with my Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in Satin Finish. This is in Light Peach. Um, this is a little light for me, but we're just going to go with it. Uh, this is one of my favorite concealers. Uh, other than the Morphe concealer, I also love this one. Um, but lately I've just been buying this because it's very hydrating and I, I don't know, I like it. So I go under my eyes. Like so. And then I have this pimple on my lip, guys, and I have a problem with picking my pimples, so that right there is a pimple, and it's annoying. Almost didn't film this video because of it, but I love y'all, so I did. Or so I am. <laughs> Just gonna go like that. I kind of use my uh, concealer as like my foundation, pretty much. Usually I will go in and I will wet my beauty blender, but I'm just gonna, I'm in my office, I don't have a sink in here, so we're just gonna go with it dry. Okay, and just like that, I have my concealer all over my face and my neck. My next step will be to go in with eyeshadow. Now, like I said, I don't really wear eyeshadow to work, so I'm gonna try and um, come up with a little neutral look. So I'm going to go with two different like little palettes. Uh, this first one is the Beauty Creations Cali Chic Palette. Now I got this out of a BoxyCharm as well. 
So I love this palette. Actually, one of the only ones I got from BoxyCharm that I love. Um, and I'm going to go in with the shade Venice. I might do that all over my lid. Now I'm going to use these new uh, brushes that my best friend got me for my birthday and Christmas. I usually use like the same brushes for everything, but we're going to try new ones. So I'm going to go over here. I'm just going to kind of show you the color. And then I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. blending brush, blending eye brush. And I'm going to take this e.l.f. baked eyeshadow, um, like trio that I've had since high school. This was my favorite palette in high school. It was the only thing I ever wore in high school. Um, as you can tell, it's like broken and falling apart. But I'm going to go in with this like rose gold color. And I'm just gonna kind of put that in the crease of my eye. And now I'm gonna go in with my. I'm gonna go in with my Naked 3 Urban Decay brush. I'm gonna go in with the more solid flat side. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the more blending. And I'm going to go in without the white in this palette. And I'm just going to go on the base of my lid like that. Now this is the fun part. This is where I do my contouring. And yes, you can contour while in uniform. So, as long as it's not crazy. So I'm going to use my new brushes that my best friend got me. Shout out to Marissa. I know she's probably watching this. The contour palette I always use is the Wonder Beauty Trip for Two. I also got this in a boxy charm. And we're gonna go in with the Costa Rye bronzer. And we're just gonna bronze our cheeks. By the way, guys, like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm makeup. And just like that, I bronze my cheeks. And then some people will like put it in other places, but I don't. But that would make me look a little crazy, so. Yep. And now we're gonna go in with the Bellini color for my blush. And we're just gonna blush our cheeks. Just like that, our cheeks have blush and a little color. And then, my favorite part, highlight. Now, I would use my favorite highlight, but I feel like it's a little too much for uniform. So we're just gonna go with the very like dull, bland, not too overpowering. You don't want a lot of highlight. Um, you don't want a lot of highlight in uniform. So I use the Too Faced Fancy Peak Diamond Highlight. And this one's just kind of perfect. It's a little bit of in between. It's not too crazy. So I just take this. These are the brushes my best friend got me for my birthday and Christmas. So I don't really know how to pronounce the name of it. It's like Narginin Kavari is the brand. I don't know. They're super soft. I really like them. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this. Just kind of go up on my cheek. Like so. By the way, I film these videos on the weekend, so that's why I'm never usually in uniform. Because like I said, I only wear makeup in uniform, so. I'm just, I did my nose, and I'm doing under my eyebrows a little bit. I'm going to do it above. I'm going to do it down here. and Yeah. Nothing crazy. Just gives a little bit of a pop. So. Yep, pretty natural. Then we're gonna go in with mascara. 
Now my favorite mascara was on sale for Black Friday, so I snagged it. It's the Benefit Real or Roller Lash. I believe that's the real. It's the roller lash. Okay, so I finished putting my mascara on and now I'm gonna go in with a cute dry Q tip. Um, to fix up any of the messed up mascara that got on my skin. Now, tip is you want to wait for the mascara to dry and you want the Q-tip to be dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and get like the little spots that got messed up. And just like that, I believe I got all of them. So this is how my finished eye looks. So pretty natural. I would say. Alright, now we're going to go in with a wet wipe because my lips get makeup on them and so do my eyebrows and it's just not a good look. By the way, I'm just gonna use some dude wipes. They're like baby wipes, so whatever. Ran out of makeup wipes. I'm just gonna get all that makeup off. And then I'm gonna go into my eyebrow. Try and get that off too without messing up my makeup. Okay, and if it does mess up your makeup, just go back in with the brush that you used for your highlight. I'll just kind of touch it up. I'm just going to... Yep, just like that. Now, usually I would just wear a chapstick to work um, in uniform, but we're going to... I'm going to show you. I actually just got the Kylie Mini Lip Kit because it was on sale for 12 bucks. And if you bought... If you spent like $20, you got a free lipstick. So, I'm just going to go in with the Kylie Lip Liner in the shade Bare. Like that. And I actually went on very smooth, which I like. I've never used her products before, so I actually really like that. Now, I think instead of using the... Yeah, actually, let's go ahead. Now, I'm just going to use the Bare, the shade Bare Lip Gloss. This smells good. And just like that, you have a natural makeup look. I also got the lip plumper, which I think, no, I'm not gonna use. Okay guys, and then I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my eyebrows like so. Honestly, I don't like when people just leave like their lashes up. To me, I think it looks sloppy. No offense. Hey guys, and just like that, you have a natural makeup look that you can wear in uniform. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.